This video is about parallel and perpendicular gradients. Lines are considered parallel if their gradients are the same and they never intersect. Lines are perpendicular if their gradients are opposite reciprocals of each other and therefore they cross and make a 90 degree angle with each other. So there's two visuals here on this slide. The first shows two parallel lines and underneath it says M1 equals M2. So M is the letter that we use to represent the slope or the gradient. And so what that means is that for any two parallel lines, the slope of the first is equal to the slope of the second. We can show that by counting our slope here. So slope is vertical change over horizontal change. So on this first line, I'm just going to color in two points here to show that the vertical change between them is up one, two, three, four, and horizontal change is over one, two. Therefore, the slope of the first line is four over two, or positive two. The second line has the same exact slope. It has a vertical change of one, two, three, four, and a horizontal change of over two. So it also has a slope of positive four over two, or two. Therefore, the two slopes are equal to each other, and they are parallel lines. In the second example, we have a picture of two perpendicular lines. And an equation that shows the slope of the first one is equal to negative one divided by the slope of the second one. Or the two slopes are opposite reciprocals of each other. One's positive and one's negative, that's the opposite part. And reciprocal means the fraction is flipped upside down. So let's count the slope of our positive line here. The one that rises from left to right is our positive line. It's actually the same as the one from the parallel graph. So the slope of it is up four. One, two, three, four, over positive two. So we've got a slope of two for this purple line here. The slope is positive two. Let's erase those markings and count the slope for the negative line. So we've got a point here, let's say, and sliding down the point right there. Our vertical change now is negative because we're dropping negative two. And a horizontal change is over to the right, one, two, three, four, so positive four. So this line has a slope of negative two vertical change divided by four, which simplifies to negative one half. So if the slope of the first line was two and the slope of the other line is negative one half, those numbers are what we call opposite reciprocals of each other. One's positive and one's negative. One is two over one, and the other one is one over two. It's the reciprocal or flipped upside down, right, version of the first slope. So when you've got two slopes that are opposite reciprocals of each, other, of each other, you can prove that the two lines are perpendicular. So you may be asked to tell whether the lines are parallel, perpendicular, or, ne or neither without looking at a graph, just given two points. So we are finding the gradient of both of these lines, which we should already know how to do and then comparing the gradients to see if they're the same or if they're opposite reciprocals or neither. So we're going to find the slope of L1 or the gradient of L1 using the slope formula rather than using a graph. Though you could draw a graph and count the slope, it's often easier to use the formula. So we're going to say the gradient of L1, negative 1 minus 2 over 0 minus a negative 2, which is like adding negative 3 over 2. Then we're going to find the slope or the gradient of L2 by using the same formula, slope formula. And that's going to equal 3 minus negative 1, or addition, 2 minus negative 4. And this simplifies to 2 thirds. So we're going to compare the two slopes that we got, the slope of L1 and the slope of L2. So they are opposites because one is positive and one is negative. They are reciprocals of each other because one of them is 3 over 2 and the other one is 2 over 3. When this happens, that means L1 is perpendicular to L2. Okay, so this symbol means perpendicular. So if you're asked are they parallel, perpendicular, or neither, you may want to use this shorthand to show L1, the first line, is perpendicular to L2, the second line. If they came out parallel, the symbol that you would want to use is this. Right? It's two little parallel segments, and so this symbol means parallel. If they are not the same or opposite reciprocal, so any other combination of two numbers, then you would just say L1 is not parallel or perpendicular to L2. It's neither. 
a little extension here. All vertical lines are going to be parallel to each other. It's kind of common sense. And they are also parallel to the y-axis. All horizontal lines are parallel to each other and also parallel to the x-axis. And there's a visual of that here. There's a vertical line there, a vertical line here. And you can picture where the y-axis is right here, also kind of a vertical line. So we've got all of these being parallel to each other. Now, the gradient of a vertical line, if you remember from the lesson where you learned this, the slope or the gradient of a vertical line is undefined. When we try to calculate the slope, we end up with something like 2 divided by 0, right? Which we know is an undefined number. And you cannot divide by 0. So the gradient of all vertical lines is going to be undefined. And therefore, they're all parallel. Over here, we've got horizontal lines, which go from left to right. And we have the x-axis here, also like a horizontal line. They're all parallel to each other. The gradient of a horizontal line, which you should remember from the lesson where you learned that, is zero, right? The gradient of a horizontal line is zero. Or if you were doing the calculation, you'd get something like zero divided by two, which is not undefined. It's perfectly allowed. You can do zero divided by a number, and it just equals zero. Because all of these gradients are zero, then these lines are considered to be parallel. And of course, the logical extension is that all vertical and horizontal lines must be perpendicular to each other. When you put a vertical line and a horizontal line on the same graph, as you can see here, they cross each other at a 90 degree angle, which makes them perpendicular. So the gradient of a horizontal line is zero, and the gradient of a vertical line is undefined. And this is one little extension of the opposite reciprocal rule, right? So undefined and zero are considered to be opposite reciprocals of each other. So those slopes are opposite reciprocals, and therefore those lines are perpendicular. And that is all.